We have a Volkswagen Jetta, year 2000, 1.9 turbo diesel, has a glow plug code. And now we're gonna do some diagnostics and see what's actually broken. These ones, they have a couple of different problems with the glow plugs. Uh, first of all, the glow plugs themselves break a lot. And they also have a problem with the glow plug harness. Alright, here you go. We're gonna throw our Wacom scanner in it. And see what this thing is gonna tell us. <laughs> okay, we have a glow plug heater circuit, low function intermittent. Intermittent means that the problem is not there all the time, it happens intermittently. And we have an engine coolant temp sensor open or shirt to plus. So the coolant temp sensor probably needs to be replaced. They have a lot of problems with those. Uh, the glow plug we're gonna diagnose in a second. Yeah. Engine cover off. We check the coolant temperature sensor, which is right down there. I don't know if you could see this thing. Uh, yep, right there. See that wire over there? This is a coolant temp sensor. This thing is bad, it needs to be replaced. And um, here we got this thing over here. This is a glow plug harness. This is the one that usually has the problems. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this plug off the injector. See that plug down there? We're gonna pull it up so it doesn't, so the wire from injector Weighs in freely over here and has more slack. We're gonna take the plug off. So we took the plug off the bracket. See, it's loosened around. Now it has a lot of a lot of slack. The the plug just pops out. You don't have to disconnect it or anything. Just pop it up. It's gonna come out very easy. So yeah, now we're gonna disconnect the harness from the glow plugs. Be careful, don't break it. Like wiggle it a little bit before pulling on it too hard. Once you disconnected it, play around with it so you could get the tips of the glow plugs free. See, those over there, those are glow plugs. Now I'm gonna show you how to test them. Circuit tests are connected. This is a Power Probe 3, it's a nice tester, we love it, so it works. You could use a regular multimeter, it works exactly the same, just this one is faster and more comfortable. You got a button over here, if you press up, you put 12 volts down the circuit, if you press down, you send a ground down the circuit. See, and this is how this tool works. So, there's a positive, you could sense the 12 volts in there. It tells you if it's positive or negative for what you got in there. That's negative. Says that it's ground. And it could also the digital display shows how many volts you got there. There's a couple more options to it. It's a very good tool. Very good to have. So we have glow plugs and there should be connectivity between the tip of the glow plug and the ground. So once you touch the tip of the glow plug, you should have ground on that. So this one's good. Next one is good as well. This one's good. That one's good. So basically, with the multimeter, if you're using your multimeter, you're gonna have to connect the negative to the engine block, or to the engine anywhere. And the positive, you're gonna touch the tip of the glow plug. If there is no connectivity, no resistance, or there shouldn't be any resistance. If there is no connectivity, then your glow plug is back. 